Hey, new students, we are excited that you are here to join us for this portion of our virtual welcome day. We get to talk about one of the coolest schools at Norco College, and it's the School of STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. The School of STEM is awesome, and we're here with Jennifer Flores today, who's one of the school ambassadors in the STEM program, making great things happen. Jennifer, how are you doing today? Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Yeah, I, I agree. This is, this is a, not the best way for us to meet again, but I'll tell you what, it's the best for what we've got. And I'm excited about this opportunity for our students, our new students, to hear from you. So why don't we just jump right in. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Tell us uh, what's your major, uh, your hometown, high school. Share with us how long you've been at Norco College. Give us some information about you. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer and this is my third year in Oracle College. I am a nursing major and I am from Corona, California and I went to Centennial High School class of 2018. So that's awesome. Why don't you tell us, Jennifer, a little bit about how you chose nursing as your major? What, what's the background behind that? Well, I volunteer at a nursing home and I saw how many nurses were like very busy and they didn't really have time to see all their patients and it made me realize that this is where I want to start and end my career and help others. I want to help physically and mentally and advocate for the non-English speakers as well. So Jennifer, what suggestion would you give for someone who is either undecided about their major or maybe they picked a major but they're a little unsure about it? What, what would be your advice for them? I would suggest them to talk to a counselor and ask for their advice, also to volunteer and get experience in whatever they like to do. I love it. Well, I think those are great suggestions. We've got some phenomenal counselors on our campus that can really help guide students along the path. They've seen thousands, maybe tens of thousands of students in their career. And they're also connected with the industries that are out there, you know, so they can really put students on a path to make sure that they're in the, the specific major that's going to benefit them with their skills, their talents, their abilities. So I, I think that's really good advice. And volunteering as well, I think that's huge, you know. Why not try, you know, stick your toe in the water in a, in a field, see if you like it. You know, because the worst thing that you could do is pick a major, graduate from it, and then work in that industry. And like, I hate this. You know, that, that doesn't make any sense. So I think volunteering is a really, really smart way to go. Um, being in the School of STEM, I, I think there's, you know, we, we've got four great schools. But what would you say are some of the highlights and benefits of being in the School of STEM? They do lots of hands-on-hands. -hands. They um, do robotic uh, activities. They also... Um, collab with Loma Linda and NASA. The counselors and students have great connections between each other. I once went to the STEM to, for tutoring and the counselor knew the student's name and I thought that was amazing because not a lot of counselors know their students like that and have great support. Yeah, I really, college is a home, you know, and, and a family and, and people know each other. You're not, you know, social security number or student ID number. You're a, you're a human being. And um, I love that about Norco College. It's a pretty cool place to be. Um, in all majors, there are certificate programs and STEM is no different. So tell me a little bit about the certificate programs that are within the School of STEM. There is a lot of certificates and associate's degree you could get at Norco College, especially in STEM. You, there is um, pre-engineering, game design, um, game art, there is graphic design, there's also um, construction technology, electrician certificates, there's a lot more. Wow, that, that's a lot to get involved in. And from my experience, when I, when I talk to students, um, you know, it, it's awesome to get a degree, but as we were talking about before, just like the volunteering and, um, you know, checking out deeper what your major is about, getting these certificates are something that really can pad your resume, really look good, uh, you know, and you're, you're on campus anyway, on campus virtually right now, but you're, you're part of the school that's offering all these things, you might as well take advantage of it. It only makes sense, you know. You were mentioning to me prior to uh, us, uh, uh, starting this that you were considering or maybe you're already involved with getting your Spanish degree as well. Um, it, 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 am I correct in saying that and, and how do you see that benefiting you, you know, in your, your career? Yes, um, I'm planning to 
get an associate's degree for Spanish and I need two more classes. And I feel like, especially since I'm a nursing major, I feel like Spanish will help a lot. And that's huge. Yeah, it absolutely will. You know, being in this region, um, so many Spanish speakers, so many people that just need uh, not only the medical care, but also the, the ability to be able to translate that so they feel comfortable making decisions about, you know, their, their health care and everything. I think that's powerful and kudos for you. So when I checked out the School of STEM's webpage, it talked about these two distinct pathways for STEM majors. Can you tell our viewers about these pathways and who they can talk to in order to find the path which works best for them? Yes, correct. There is two um, pathways for the STEM. We have the science and health, and the second one is for um, science, technology, engineering, and math. And you guys could meet with a counselor, with an advisor at the engagement center with Alex and Nelly, and they help a lot. Alex and Nelly are awesome, aren't they? Just great resources on our campus. And really any major that you've got, they're people that you're gonna to wanna to talk to, gonna to wanna to meet. Um, certainly can reach out to them via email and online uh, until we're back in person. Uh, but the truth of the matter is they are a wealth of knowledge. So um, I'm glad you mentioned them. Alex and Nelly, get to know them. Uh, and, and they do a great job in our engagement center. So what are some of the top fields graduates from the School of STEM are going into as they graduate from Norco College? Many students um, transfer to universities for their bachelor's for engineering. I feel like engineering is the top and maybe um, nursing as well or anything involved with medical fields. Uh, it's, it, those are huge, huge industries right now. I know the medical field is just hurting for more nurses. So a lot of job opportunities available there. Uh, same with engineering. And, you know, uh, Norco College is offering the AA degree in many cases for a lot of the majors, whether it's, you know, math or science or you know, whatever, you probably need to get your bachelor's degree as well. I have felt Norco College sets up students better than any other community college in making sure that they're prepared to get into their four-year school, but more importantly, to succeed once they're there. So um, my hope is you'll be able to experience that as well. And, and uh, you know, the, the next school that you go to is very fortunate to have you, Jennifer. Thank you, Mark. So just to wrap up, you know, uh, just kind of in general, what advice would you give an incoming School of STEM student just really about succeeding in college in general. I would tell them to take advantage of everything that there is at school. There's a lot of opportunities that students could take activities, especially in the STEM area. And I would say also the science classes to make new friends and get to know them, go to study sessions, study together, sit in the front of rows of the seats, because that's going to help a lot. Ask questions and get to know the professor. Jennifer, I will tell you what, if our new students listen to that advice you gave, they will be sumu cum laude, they will graduate with honors, they will get into their four-year school. That is wisdom. I'm really glad you shared all that information. So Jennifer, thank you for being here. You've got a bright future in front of you. I'm, I'm so thankful we got to sit down and, and have this conversation. Uh, so thanks for your time today. Thank you, Mark. And new students, I want you to know that we are glad that you're at Norco College. So enjoy everything that we have to offer. Enjoy the rest of this virtual welcome day and enjoy your first year being a Mustang. Have a great day, everybody.